live wells? Dueling live wells. It's always a good thing. I think that's our smallest fish. This might be our smallest fish. No, there's oh. one in there that's smaller than this guy that we just put in here. That's look at him. He's like five. Oh my gosh. I'll give you what seven and a quarter? Yeah, yeah I got that. Yeah. I don't know. The man. other one's pretty close to seven too. I that think. Head is kind of. <laughs> oh. I think the head is gonna make it go a little over. I've got old man shake hands holding this camera. Dude. Oh no, we lost the fucking Chobie or Dean. Pardon, oh, no. pardon my French. That's our smallest fish. Oh. Things long. Look how long that one is. It was a snake. But a python. I don't nice. even know which one's the big fish. How was uh, the, the weather on the backside? Uh, it was nice. It was good, it? good fishing conditions. Wow. Because we were up on the west end backside, oh. just brutal. Nice. Oh. <laughs> and I work out. I'm going to say new leaders safely. Both fine like that, yeah? Oh, yeah. Five. What's your bag right here? Place the bag in? The whole bag? No, just this. Yeah, the whole bag. Don't dump it. You got five fish, I see. You got five you fish. You got a sea bass in there? Give me your big fish. Dude, hold on. Let's <laughs> make Finally, sure. I get to see the leaders. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's not the big oh! one. Hold on. That's not the big one. That's not the big one. That's not the big one. That's the big one. That's the big one. Holy cow! Yeah, that's the big one. That's the big one. You're amazing. That's the big one. Seven, four. Let's get the rest of them in here so we can get them back. It's been a long time. Go that go does the scale go that high? I guess the scale oh, goes that high. Right. 31 12, 12. market. Woo! Dude, I brought 30, dude. Woo! Hey, yeah. He said good things about you this week. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Unreal. Right. Partner, Spino from FaceTown Bass Ups, and Dave Valdez. And we found a lot of fish on, on the iron, and I was so pumped. I was like, man, I really, really, really want to fish this tournament. I was so excited. I talked about the whole ride home. And I literally probably text every single person I know that has a boat. I was like, can you please take me and fish this tournament? Because I want to fish this tournament. I, was, I thought I could catch some fish. I found someone that, that wanted to take me fishing. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, Woo! and then, and then, my buddy Justin here has a really good neighbor friend of his named Brad Vassar, and he has a really nice ranger, which is over there. And Justin Rounds is like, I'm gonna talk to my buddy, see if he'll let us go on the boat. And if he does, we're gonna win. And I was like, it's all we need is the boat. He goes, it's all we need is the boat. I go, that makes sense. We just need the boat. <laughs> so he texts me. He goes, guess what? I'm like, what? Got the boat. He's like, we're gonna win. I'm like, okay. Well, I think it's possible to really do that. Like, you get a boat, you're gonna win. I'm like, he was confident. He was that confident, and it made me believe it. And I was like, all right, we're gonna do this. So the whole time, there was no doubt in his mind that we weren't gonna win. I don't know how that works, but it what did. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, it was crazy. That's, so That's Jr. Woo! But Justin outfitted me for the beginning of the day, and like, I put the first five fish. No, we got the we got the. Um, I put the first four fish on, and then he caught a fish, we got a double for the fifth one. And then after that, we were cruising around, whatever, and then uh, fish some deep water struck. But he just cast it out, and he was like, oh, I've been getting on the sink out here in this deeper water stuff. And I was like, is that true? I was like, yeah, and bounce around. And he goes, oh. he's like, oh, I got one. I'm like, okay, what's going on? And he's like, oh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm like, what? Well, did you largemouth them? And he goes, yeah, I let him open up the bell, you know, and let, let them line out, and then the you know, fish didn't do anything, just kind of stood there. I'm like, man, he's still there? He's like, I don't know. And he starts, just, just pulls this fish, just yanks him. And then next thing you know, he's like, oh yeah, still there. I'm like, no way. He's like, get the net. I'm like, get the net? I'm like, oh, it doesn't look that big. And the next thing you know, it's ginormous. Eight, eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. And it was like under the boat and you couldn't see it. I'm like trying to follow it. He's like, no, no, wait, wait. And I was chasing him and I almost jumped in, but <laughs> oh, I did it, it's probably illegal. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a lot to say, but I, I really want to. I really want to thank all you guys. Uh, the SWBA has provided all of us an incredible platform to do what we love, and uh, there's a lot of people here that are super passionate about catching calico and releasing them too. That's pretty important to me. But uh, I don't know. I'm so grateful for uh, James, Susan, and EB, and and all you guys because. I mean, it's pushed West Coast fishing to the next level, and you guys have educated an entire uh, generation of fishermen, including me. So 
I look up to a lot of you guys and I'm really, really grateful to be able to come out here and do this. So thank you guys for all your money. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Nice. They deserve it! They deserve it. Round four, the Bonhoeff Lumber against the Grain. Champions, Justin Reynolds and Wendy.